Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. Here doing an album review, what's kind of been building up to be a, a highly anticipated album review. The new Neon Indian LP. Actually, and before we get into this, I'm going to have Cal Chesta over there give us some pertinent background information on this, uh, on this artist, Cal Chesta. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you. Uh, I discovered in my uh, very extensive research that the Neon Indians are in fact not affiliated with India or Native Americans. Not the case. Uh, instead, Neon Indians is a uh, dance music. Dance music. Electronic. Electronica. Accurate reporting, as always. Couch or Chester. Uh, 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 this new LP, I'm not exactly sure what to say. To me, it kind of feels like just yesterday when everybody was, was freaking out over the summer single Deadbeat Summer off of 2009's Psychic Chasms. That LP wasn't perfect. It was far from perfect. It had a couple dud songs, a couple of the tracks that I even thought were good were mixed really badly and, and so lo-fi and, and, and shrill that I needed to turn the treble all the way down on my stereo in order to enjoy the track. Hype aside, I enjoyed Psychic Chasms for, for what it was. It was just a really light, quirky, fun, pop record with a lo-fi recording. I had some big expectations for this. Expectations that Neon Indian's kind of sole member Alan Palomo would elevate himself past the whole chill wave thing, past the hype of psychic chasms, and bring something big and ambitious. And sadly, I, I don't think that's happened. For, for the most part, I kind of feel like this album is Psychic Chasms Part 2 with a better recording. Because this album is not as lo-fi, Neon Indian needs to figure out a way to make it kind of murky, and he does that with reverb. Tons and tons and tons of reverb. And it's like not even a good reverb, it's like a shrill, really synthetic reverb that doesn't even feel good. And he buries a good handful of these songs so far into it that I'm not even really hearing the song, I'm just hearing the effects. I can't help but feel like there's a really shy and apathetic aesthetic to this album. Not only in just how much reverb these songs are smothered in, but in how mumbly some of the vocals are. More mumbly on here than they were on Psychic Chasms. Plus, I'm not really liking the, the slight style change on this album, too. Neon Indian no longer feels like a little pop project or even, even a little bedroom rock project. Now Neon Indian kind of sounds like that haziness that we associate with Chill Wave mixed with Alan's other project, Vega. So basically this kind of shoegazy dance music with really wonky synthesizers and very kind of bleepy, bloopy, 8-bit-esque synths that remind me a lot of Crystal Castles. They kind of feel like tracks that would soundtrack a dance party filled with people who are really too heavily sedated with opiates to actually dance. There are songs on here that kind of fizzle out abruptly, there are instrumentals that just go nowhere, and tracks that kind of feel really rushed. Just like Psychic Chasms, that album had those flaws too, but the reason I kind of forgive that record is that it was funny at some points, like, I should have taken acid with you, or it was really fun and catchy, just like on Deadbeat Summer. The fun, lighthearted moods are kind of gone on this LP. It feels more serious, more mature. And yet, the way the songs on here are written and produced don't reflect that. So yeah, most of the time I just kind of felt shortchanged, underwhelmed by these tracks, and I didn't really find much of this thing to be memorable. With this, I'm really just left wanting more. A lot, lot more. Um, I'm kind of feeling a, a light to decent three on this. Was really underwhelmed by it. Um, but still, I got a ton of comments asking me to review it. What did you guys think about it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Why? And what do you think I should review next? Anthony Fantano, Neon Indian, forever. <laughs>